Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. So in this video tutorial, we're going to see the structures in C. So when we create a variable in C, we can only store one type of data in that variable. If you use an array, then you can store many data, but that should be of same type. In programming, sometimes you have to deal with some dissimilar data types and uh, you know, uh, you have to use them together. So for example you are writing a program you know that needs some student details then uh, then you have to create the variables for you know the attributes of the student let's say name then roll number then uh, you know marks age etc etc so if you can combine all those attributes under one one name then it's going to be a lot lot easier to code as well as maintain your code so for that purpose you can use a structure in c so by using these structures, you can uh, combine multiple data types together. So now we're gonna see the syntax of the structures in C. So I'm gonna copy and uh, paste it. So this is it. First, you have to use the keyword struct. Then you have to write the tag name or the structure name. So this is the name under which you are, you know, combining or uh, including some dissimilar data types so uh, then a pair of uh, curly braces then a semicolon so then within this curly braces you have to specify the different data types so if you are uh, writing a structure for a student then you can write the attributes of student in here as the structure members for example you can write the student name then student age student marks student details anything so now we're gonna see how we can use this structure in our program so in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna create a structure to uh, maintain the details of the student so I'm gonna write struct that's the keyword then the structure name since we are you know dealing with the student let me name it as student then a pair of curly braces and a semicolon don't forget this semicolon is so important so then as the structure members we're gonna write the attributes of the student let's say a student has a name it's gonna be care then name uh, let me declare the size of around uh, 15 so next you know after this name a student has the attribute of let's say int roll number then uh, age it's gonna be of type integer so this is it for the demonstration purpose so this is how you can uh, declare a structure in your program so now we can uh, refer this student structure in our program and create the variables of this type so to create the variables of this structure here we have to write the keyword struct first then the structure name is going to be student then the variable name is similar to creating a variable first we're gonna write the data type you know for example int x where int is a data type and x is a variable name similarly here struct then the, this structure name then you know this defines the data type similar to that so then we have to write the variable name so this time we're gonna say anil that's it now we have a variable called anil which is of type this structure student so now we have to assign the values to the members of this structure or assign the values for this variable anil so we're gonna use assignment operator then this curly braces and within that we have to specify or provide the data as they are in this structure definition so it's gonna be first name i'm gonna give it anil then add a comma then we have roll number let's say one two three four uh, a comma then the age I'm gonna write 23 so this is it now we have created a structure called student and we also created a variable called anil which is of type student so now we're gonna see how we can retrieve the values which are stored in this structure variable anil so to retrieve the elements of this structure variable anil we have to write the structure variable name that's gonna be anil then a dot operator then the element you want to retrieve so 
this is the name element of this structure variable anil that's why if you want this then you have to write name here so if you want the age element then you have to write this structure variable name then a dot then age here so if you want the roll number you have to write roll number that's it now we're gonna use a printf function and uh, we're gonna print the values which are present in this structure variable anil so i'm gonna use printf i'm gonna first write this uh, the name element which is stored in this uh, structure variable anil then a space th then the age element then the roll number so here i have to write the structure variable name that is anil then dot operator then the element first we are referring this name element that's why i have to write name here then structure variable name dot the element is going to be roll number comma anil dot age so i'm going to save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we have printed anil which is the which is a name element present in this structure variable anil then 1 2 3 4 that's the roll number then 23 is the age so i'm going to close it so let's have a recap a structure is a collection of dissimilar data elements so this dissimilar data elements can be of same data type or different data types so to define a structure we use the keyword struct then the structure name then within this curly braces we write the elements or the members of that structure so here we define our student structure by using this struct keyword and we have added the name roll number and age as the members of the elements of this uh, structure student then in the main method we created a variable of the structure student and uh, we assigned it with the values then we used uh, dot operator to print or get the particular elements from the structure so this is it this is about uh, the structures in c in the next tutorial we're gonna see some more information about the structures so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial